Hello everybody, this is Stranger Gamer back to conclude Group B with Round 5. So yeah, um, not as enticing as some of the other groups, mainly because three of our guys already got through to the last 32, so it's, it's mainly about who can finish top. But anyway, enough about top spot. we got a more important matter to deal with first, and that is who will finish fourth. Well, who will finish in the top four between Khalid and Team Asia? So yeah, massive, massive game. It's, it's knockout, it's knockout. Even a losing bonus point won't be enough for Khalid. A draw will be though, so it is in Khalid's hands. They can draw this game, but let's be honest, what are the chances this match is going to end in a draw? Very, very low. I will say, on the topic of draws though, we have had at least one draw in every tournament I've done so far, except for the first one, so that is interesting. We haven't had a draw yet in this tournament. Even in the freebie freeze, we've had a draw. Right, in the red corner, for Khalid, we have got the Taurosaurus. Okay, what field is this? Oh, bad news for Khalid. Because Team Asia will have terrain advantage. Tajongasaurus backing up the uh, Taurosaurus here. Ooh, does that put Team Asia in the driving seat? Both dudes want to swap when HP's in the red. I think Khalid is going to have to kill the Sauronophus as quickly as possible. But, gotta survive the terrain advantage first. So yes, for Team Asia in the blue corner, we got Sauronophus with terrain advantage. So it will start with a net crusher. Dun dun. Dun dun dun. Well, a massive... This, this, this game is every... This is basically a knockout match. Backing up the Sauronophus, we have Monolophosaurus. Ooh, I, the terrain advantage, I think, does put Team Asia in the driving seat, but those powerful crits, if Khalid can get those crits off, you know, I think he can do it. But yeah, this is probably going to be tougher than maybe many were expecting. Okie dokie. Let's do the uh, terrain advantage first, so Sir Rolifus will get the first hit. Both dudes want to swap when HP's in the red. Boosh! Foo, foo, bomb! Ooh, that's a tie. A bit nervous, a nervy start so far from Khalid. Another tie. Wow, this, this, this is as tense as it's going to be because... Uh, say, it's, it's, oh, the crit! Oh, not a good start for Khalid! If the Taurosaurus dies, then Khalid is kind of screwed. Because this Sauronophus is going to have type advantage over Tijongasaurus. Uh, it just has to pray and hope this Taurosaurus survives. I don't think it's going to. Oh, no, it didn't. Oh, worst possible start for Khalid. Okay, he gets a hit, but yeah, this Tijongasaurus, you got to earn your dough, yeah, buddy. We've seen some comebacks from worse deficits than this. It's not over yet. Elemental power is definitely going to help. Needs to hit with a crit here. A tie. He's got Sand Trap. He's got Sand Trap. There's another tie. Can we get some Sand Trap action, maybe? Oh, we are! Sand Trap will definitely help you. But if Team Asia gets to, gets to swap out the Sorolophus, then yeah, they're definitely in the driving seat. Because they'll come back in with a terrain advantage and they'll guarantee a hit on the Tijongasaurus and that hit will be a crept. Crucial moment this could be. Oh, I failed the swap! Big moment in the match that I... Yeah, that is a massive moment. Yes, the Sorolophus survives, but it's not going to get the swap out. Khalid dodging a bullet there and getting right back in this contest. Oh, doesn't want to go for that. Oh, that's a tie. This Sorolophus is revival type though, so it will come back. Oh, don't want to go paper, Khalid. You don't want to go paper. Yes, it's a crit, but if Sorolophus hits with a crit, it's game over. Okay, that's a tie. Well, after a poor start, Khalid getting back into this contest and crucially killing the Sorolophus. So terrain will no longer be a factor. Ooh, but the Monolophosaurus gets the next hit. Oh, can, can Khalid do it? He needs a crit. 
Oh, he's not getting one! Not a crit! Elemental power should limit the damage. So I don't think this is going to be lethal. But he needs to get a crit. Oh! It's all on this now. Has to hit with a crit. Okay, gets a hit, gets a hit. Oof, Khalid's tournament hopes clean by a friend. Needs to hit a crit. Okay, well, he's getting hits, which is good. The elemental power will help. Ooh, hang on a minute. A rock might do it. Oh, he gets the crit! <laughs> Khalid clings on. Gets the win over Team Asia. Oh. Well, that was definitely a shitting pants moment for Khalid there, because, oh my god, they probably thought it was over. Gets the rock roller, gets the win, it's unconvincing, it's not really impressive. But they showed the character to come from behind to get the win over Team Asia, and get through to the last 32 round, and knock Team Asia out of the tournament. Wow. That was a good match. That was really enticing. That was really enticing. Team Asia was in the lead throughout the whole match, but Khalid hung on in there. As I said, Tajongosaurus earned its money. Right, we'll have a quick look at how Group B stands before going into the second match. Well, there we go. Khalid storming up to second place as it well as it's second by virtue of the fact that they beat Black Beauty in their matchup. But obviously, all that can change. If Ultima Dino King gets the win, they will go top of Group B. And will stay top if Black Beauty gets defeated. So yeah, ult to play for. And if Drogon wins, then well, they guarantee themselves top spot. And Ultima Dino King will finish fourth, which is gonna, which will be another interesting twist. Right, let's go with the match. Ooh, ooh, ooh! This is going to be an interesting field. Very bad news if you're Drogon, but very good news if you're Ultima Dino King. Well, it's kind of a toss-up, really. But anyway, in the red corner for Drogon, we got Spinosaurus. With terrain disadvantage. Ooh, looks like the terrain advantage is going to play a big factor in this match. Back in the Spino, we got Super Eel Carcaria. Drogon has been in imperious form so far in this tournament, so terrain disadvantage probably won't phase them that much. A win for Drogon, and they'll top this group. A win for Ultima, and they'll go top. And stay top, unless Black Beauty wins their matchup. Right, in the blue corner for Ultima Dino King, we got Super Tarkia with the Awaken Mode on 3. And with the terrain advantage over the Spino that has terrain disadvantage, the Tarkia will be starting with a crit. Backing up the Tarkia is the Saltosaurus. It, it could have terrain type advantage over the Eel Carcaria, but it does have terrain advantage. So yeah, kind of a toss up this field. You know, on the one hand, yes, Tarki has got the type terrain advantage, but Saltosaurus has terrain disadvantage. But that could work in Ultima's favour as well, because the Hydro Cut will get triggered then, once the Saltosaurus gets hit. But right, first things first. Get the terrain advantage over with. Ooh, the Dino Stuffer coming in now. Forget, forget the Dinos have Dino Stuffer. <laughs> but there we go, Dino Stuffer used up already. Right, that's once. Ooh, we start with a tie. Ultima does have... The, the Tarkia does have the Sand Trap. Another tie. Ooh, we're gonna see Sand Trap. Sand Trap will weaken Spinosaurus's defense in a tie. Which might actually help. Which will help Ultima because this Spino is tight. Right, that's twice. Ooh, another tie. Will we see another sand trap? Nope. But look at the difference there in damage. The Spino taking more damage this time. Oh, it's a good start from Ultima the Dino King. The Taki again, another hit on the board. Drogon yet to get going. Oh, oh, hello. We got a shockwave. And what a time to get it because. The Tarkia is going to be awakened. Ooh, this is really bad for Drogon. Yeah, Spino's dead no matter what, because the Tarkia will be going to scissors. 
Oh, it's a tie that could be damaging. You know what that means. The Spinos, the Eocarcaria comes in and Ultimate has a chance to do serious damage to it. Oh, is it another tie? A sand trap might actually... Oh. Another tie. A sand trap would actually be welcome here. Just to get rid of this awaken mode. Oh, is that game over? That's going to be game over for Drogon. Oh, he survived. Earth barrier coming in. Got the awaken mode though. Okay, yeah, it is bad for Drogon, but Ultimate Dino King looking really strong. Nothing to lose now, but they've lost. Oh, Ultimate Dino King gets the bonus point. Wow, that was really... That was a demolishing from Ultimate Dino King there. Drogon just really didn't get going. Yeah, that was a brutal defeat there for Drogon Targaryen the third. But a big win for Ultimate, which puts them top of Group B. Right, well, we'll have a look at the table, and then we'll move on to our final match of this group. Well, Ultimate Dino King really shaking, shaking off that shock loss in the first round to Black Beauty to go top of Group B. But if Black Beauty wins their ma upcoming match against Moloch Horridus, then Black Beauty will top this group. So, yeah, it's still all to play for for Black Beauty. Don't really want to finish fourth and end up facing a group winner. As for Moloch Horridus, well, they're already out, so just they're playing just for a little bit of pride. Can they finish their tournament on a high? Ooh, in the meadow field, which actually means no terrain advantages. Right, in the red corner, Thor, Black Beauty, we got Pachycephalosaurus. Black Beauty's looked really impressive. I've been really impressed with them in this tournament. Really impressed. In the backing up the Pachycephalosaurus, we got Brontokins. A win for Black Beauty here will give them, will enable them to top Group B. And quite frankly, they, they deserve it. They've been really impressive. On, for their first tournament, really good. And honestly, I feel like they're a dark horse in this tournament. Right, as for Moloch Horridus in the blue corner, we have Baryonyx. It's been an absolute horrible tournament for Horridus, but they're looking to finish on a bit of on a bit of a high. Backing up the Barry, we got Lexoversaurus. Lexoversaurus, I've seen too much of this guy. Okay, just double check my notes real quick. Oh, oh, you see, both people want to swap an HP slot. Huh. Convenience. Oh, I like these two. Yeah, I think Black Beauty will probably win this match, but you never know. Moloch, you know, sometimes when you got like nothing to play for, you play better. I don't know. Well, it's Black Beauty getting the first hit. Boosh. Well, we saw how effective the dive bombers were in the la in Black Beauty's last matchup against Team Asia. Absolutely demolished them. Ooh, that's a tie. Uh, don't think that's below half yet. Well, they're going to be now. Ooh, Baryonyx getting the swap. Getting the hit there, Moloch. Like, Baryonyx is really, is actually really good. A very, very well-balanced bronze dinosaur. Okay, that's... Hmm, that's probably bang on half. So I won't swap yet. Oh. Well, the Pachycephalosaurus might not get a chance to swap Lexoversaurus hitting with a crit. And it killed it. Wow. Molochoridus in the lead after a slowish start. But still got the Brontokins to deal with. Ooh, the Lexoversaurus gets another hit on the board. Not, won't do too much damage though. All its power is in the crit, but here comes the Earth Barrier. Okay, there you go, Brontokin's getting the next hit, eating through the Earth Barrier, getting a light recovery on the board. Oh, it's fully healing, actually. Hmm. But Molochoridus definitely in the lead. 
Of course, with the spectral, possible spectral armor waiting in the wings, all that can change in a flash. Oh, that's a tie. Okay, that's below half, so time to swap out the Lexi Vesaurus. Oh, we're not going to get the swap. Instead, it's going to be a crit. They're almost killed it. The Baryonyx is going to get hit as well. And look at that bar getting full. Brontekin's looking indomitable so far. Oh, and that tie will be all she wrote for Lexi Vesaurus. Well, one hit from Brontekin's and it's Spectral Armor time. And there is that hit. Time for some Spectral Armor. Well, we've seen this before, haven't we? Black Beauty used it to snatch victory away from Drogon Targaryen III. Let's see if they can snatch a win here. Ooh, they can't. The Monarch Horridus getting the Futaba Cannon. It won't be lethal for the Brontekins, but it does keep Moloch alive. Well, it keeps the Baryonyx alive. Ooh, and now all of a sudden, one hit from the Barry will win the match for Moloch. Oh, they get the hit! Ooh, I don't, without the Futaba Cannon, no, I don't think it's lethal, no, but look at this! Can Moloch Horridus finish on a high? Oh, I think that's it! Brontekins goes down, Moloch Horridus on the fifth and final attempt of Askin finally wins a match in this tournament. I mean, they're already out, but you finish on a high. There you go. Finishing with a bit of pride there, getting their win at last. And a good win over Black Beauty, to be fair. As for Black Beauty, well, they'll just have to settle for finishing. Well, I'll have a look where they finish now, but it will that will confirm that Ultimate Dino King will win Group B. Much to the relief of some of the other saps in the other groups who would not want to face Ultimate Dino King. But whoever you face in Group B, you're in for a tough match. If you face anyone from Group B, that is. Right, let's have a look at how Group B finished. And we can have a look at all the guys that got through where they will be in the last 32. Well, that's how Group B is going to finish, ladies and gentlemen. We have Ultima Dino King, top with 13 points. Drogon Targaryen the third, second place on 12 points. Then we have Khalid in third place by virtue of the fact that they beat Black Beauty in their matchup. And then Black Beauty in fourth. So yeah, really interesting because Group B and Group E are very inter intertwined. So yeah, let's have a quick look at who these guys will could face in the last 32. Ultimate Dino King will face whoever finishes 4th in Group E, which as it stands is... Ugh. Rogan Targaryen the 2nd, the 3rd, will face whoever finishes 3rd in Group E, which as it stands is Dino Hunter. And then we'll have Black Beauty over here will finish face whoever wins Group F, which will most likely be Chair Knights. And then we'll have Khalid going up against whoever finishes runner-up in Group H, which as it stands is Blood Moon, and it probably will be Blood Moon. So yeah, really, really intrigued, really good matches these four are going to face. I wouldn't be surprised if the winner of the tournament comes from Group B. And yeah, that's, that's going to be it. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment, and until next time, ta-ta!